The beauty of being able to make your own audio cables lies in the fact that you can make cables that adapt perfectly to your specific needs. For example, this is a balanced audio cable with a male XLR connector on one end and a quarter range TRS jack plug on the other end. I made this cable to enable me to connect the output of my audio interface or the auxiliary output of my mixing console which uses a TRS jack connector to the XLR input of an amplifier or um, a powered loudspeaker. So in this video, I'll be showing how to make a balanced audio cable with a quarter range TRS jack plug. TROS stands for tip, ring and sleeve. When used for balanced audio application, the tip carries the positive signal comparable to pin 2 in an XLR connector. The ring carries the negative signal same as pin 3 in an XLR connector and the sleeve is ground comparable to an XLR connector's pin 1. The TRS cable should not be confused with a standard guitar cable like this one, which uses a TS jack plug. The TS cable, short for tip and sleeve, is used for unbalanced audio connections as only one conductor transmits the audio signal. Alright, let's focus on making the TRS cable. Unscrew the connector and slip the outer cover into the cable, ensuring it's pointing in the right direction. Slip the insulating sleeve into the cable as well. Strip the outer jacket of the cable about 2 cm inward to reveal the ground wire while being careful to avoid nicking the wire. Isolate the strands of ground wire and twist them together. Cut off any insulating strings present. Strip the red and white signal wires back about half a centimeter. Melt some solders onto the wires in a process known as thinning. Let's have a quick look at the connecting pins. Here's the pin for connecting to the tip. It's short and in the middle. The ring is also short but a little off to the side. And of course, this is the ground pin. With the connector secured using a clamp, or at least my makeshift clamp here, solder the red wire to the connecting pin for tip, the white wire to the connecting pin for the ring, and the ground wire to the sleeve. Assemble the connector by sliding in the insulating jacket and screwing on the outer cover. With this, your cable is done. Now at this point, you can go ahead and test out the cable with a standard cable tester or a multimeter to ensure electrical continuity between the connector pins. But since you made it this far, you can check out how to make a standard XLR microphone cable right here and I'll see you in that video.